There's like stitching right here. I don't think there's anything inside. Welcome to the mail show. Now, is it called that because of, because of me opening up packages? Or is it called that because this thing's hosted by a rock hard stud? That's up to the audience. I hope you drink Diet Coke out of this. Love from the Marines, from Matthew. Damn, dude, I got a lot of Marines sending me stuff in, dude. I got like a goddamn honor guard out there. Oh, it's one of those, you put stuff in it, and then it changes colors, I bet. Oh no, I know what that is! <laughs> oh no, I know what that is! I thought it was going to be the Skyrim meme! I thought it was going to be like a Skyrim cup! That's a funny coffee cup. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> this guy's note says, hey, I sent a letter five years ago. You opened it on a mail time video. Tasting bad military food at 20 minutes and 30 seconds in, in which you read the first 10 words and you said you were bored and tossed it. Fuck, I'm sorry. I, I tried really hard to write this nicely, but it's probably still too terrible to read. But you better fucking read it anyways. I'm a freshman in high school and been watching- Okay, I got bored. Anyway, here's a mysterious floppy disk. You can destroy the disk and never know what's on it, or be burdened by the knowledge that this 1.44 megabyte piece of plastic contains something. Wow, this guy- yeah, this guy held a grudge for a long time. This- <laughs> This is this this letter gives off very Joker energy. This is uh, kind of concerning. I wonder what's on this thing. Should I go buy a fucking floppy, a floppy reader just so I can see what's on there? You got to me. I uh, curiosity was killing me, and I did you dirty in the past. So I got this uh, floppy disk drive to USB. Let's see what's on this thing. This is what's fucking on there. Well, my curiosity sated. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, you got me. Five years later, you fucking got me. All right, what do you want me to say? Okay, you won. All right, I spent twenty dollars on this fucking disk drive too. Mail time video, mail time stream, just a little mail time stream with the boys. I have proper PPE protection for this one. This is like those those hazmat suits that you ever seen those videos of the guys that go into septic tanks and beat off. This is the type shit that they wear. This is so hot in here. Oh my lord! Did the face hole doesn't get any bigger than this? It... All right, whoever sent the hazmat suit, thank you for this. This is such a great addition to the stream. I'm glad that you're trying to keep me safe. This is incredible. One minute, 37 seconds later. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to have this on anymore. I can't see anything, and it's too hot inside. It's just too fucking hot in this thing. Okay. Oh, my God. I can't see shit with this fucking thing on. Dude, this is like a badass cutting board. Look at this thing. Did he make this? If you like it enough for a shout out, here is the brand I put my work under. Min misunderstood a brief at college. Donkey Kong fucking Diddy Kong. This was the outcome. So this was a college assignment this guy turned in. Apparently, having an adult Donkey Kong sexually dominating Diddy Kong wasn't what the assignment was, to his surprise. Very well done. You see the emotion in everybody's face? Incredible work. This one's going on the refrigerator. This is stuff from Commando Store. I know this, I know this store. This is where I got the, uh, this is where I got the fishing hat. Oh, we have replacement clothing! Something I can switch into! Oh, guys, I really want to try this on to make sure it fits. And, oh, it's a $25 gift card. Hold on. $25. Grab it. I feel like a fucking bad guy in a movie. You know, like whenever there's like some European thug on the street. 
that comes at you with a lead pipe or maybe like a cup full of acid. This is the, that's the vibe I'm getting from this. This shit doesn't, is this racist? That's, uh, I'm not wearing like some Third Reich bullshit, am I? You know, like sometimes you see historians that are a a actually jacked and they're like killers. You never see that. People that are historians are fucking nerds, but I don't want them getting mad at me and canceling me or something. Uh, and my wife. Have you guys seen that guy that does stealth camping? And he, he'll like, he'll like go camp like behind a Walmart or something. Or like he'll camp in a roundabout at a traffic circle. Steve Wallace. <clears throat> yeah, this guy's like stealth camping and he doesn't want to get caught and he'll like slowly crack a beer and then just go like, It's the most distinguishable noise of all time. You know people a quarter mile away are hearing them sip that thing. Oh no. You're telling me the Wallace guy, the, the dude that does the stealth camping, his wife died? Oh, that sucks. Hey, Mr. Stealth Camper. I'm sorry, sir. Losing a life partner like that must suck. This one goes out to you, Mr. Stealth Camper. Uh, you know, I got family members that are probably 80, 90 years old that would love these. But I feel like there's a generational issue here. Is, uh, I'm, uh, this is one of the few foods I'm too young for. I, I don't have an advanced enough palate to enjoy it. Maybe one day I'll grow into them. But for right now, I, w I appreciate the gesture and I will pass these off uh, to the fine folks at Waste Management. Fuck! Oh yeah, that's mold. That is 100% just mold. That is a mold sandwich. This is the guy that keeps sending his packages with the N-word on them. Excellent. A bunch of uh, Slim Jims of varying varieties. Kangaroo. I've never had kangaroo. Alligator. Beef and ostrich. This one's made out of a Mexican guy with a sombrero. Incredible. Elk. Venison. Yeah, it's a tough, uh, it's a tough tie for me in between the alligator and the Mexican guy. Goddamn, Buffalo Bob, this thing's got some kick. <coughs> Man, this alligator's, it's dead, but it's still got some bite. <coughs> you know what the problem with spicy stuff is? I have absolutely no idea what alligator tastes like. I'm eating alligator right now. Can't even tell what it tastes like because it's buried under a bunch of fucking Cajun dog shit. That's just hot. I'm just eating a spicy stick is really what it is. I'm not saying bland food is good. I'm just saying like spice for the sake of spice does not make good food. I'm not even tasting the dextrose or the sodium erythrobrate. <coughs> oh my God, my eyes are watering. Oh my God. You talk a lot. What's a, it's a fucking stream? What, what do you want me to do? Just sit here in dead ass silence? <laughs> oh man, you would not believe this shit. I turned, I tuned into the stream earlier. In the streamer, streamer was talking the whole time. I couldn't enjoy myself. This, uh, this tracksuit fucking rules. Whoever sent this in. I think it might have been the official Commando store. Commando store, this shit fucking rules. A Fallout Nuka Cola Quantum. Hey, uh, is there any way you can bring down like that little wine cooler thing with some ice in it? Like the thing that you would chill like a bottle of champagne in? Maybe some ice and water? So I can, I have just like one bottle that they insist needs to be drank cold. Yeah, just like throw it somewhere in my, in my office. It'll be fine. All right, bye. <clears throat> awesome possum. We got Abby on it. A Abby is not an NPC. She has a full ass range of emotions. I've seen them all. She gets happy. She gets sad. She says she has four lines of dialogue. Camera, come back here to both of you. There we go. 
You know what? I think some of these need to be zoomed in a little bit. So I got this, I'm just gonna pop this thing in here. Get it, try to get cooled off as quick as possible. If like Jolly Ranchers got turned into a soda, it's like kind of sour. It's like a sour soda. Hey Sam, first off, there's definitely no pee in here from any source. I know that sounds like something someone would say if there absolutely was pee, but trust me, we're pee free. There is something for your wife and kids too. I hope you like it. I don't like how this guy assures me that there's no piss on anything in here and then goes, by the way, I got you some stuff for your wife and kids. There's just a pair of thigh high socks that say I heart cock. And then to further that, uh, my kids love macaroni and cheese, you know, like what kids don't, but they're not gonna be eating this. I refuse to feed my kids cock and ball mac and cheese. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, fuck, oh my God. You got me good, motherfucker. You got me good. Oh, <laughs> okay. We got a little jokester here, all right. It's a box. And when you pull the fucking lid back, a spider comes jumping out into your face and touches your hand. <laughs> this was a fucking red herring. This was a decoy. He knew I'd be talking about that. My guard would be lowered. And then he can get me with the fucking, oh! My boy sent in this. It's a beautiful painting and it has uh, Bruce Campbell's signature on it. I have your letter, whoever sent this in. It's right over there with instructions on how to send it back with my signature on it. But I've just been holding on to Bruce Campbell's signature just for a little bit. This has just been a part of my house for a couple months now. That way it's not, it's not so much like, oh, Sam also signed this, but it's also like, Sam lived with this. Also, if you guys didn't see it from last time, I got, I did end up replacing the head on this lady uh, with a beautiful one to make her the right age. What age is she? No idea, but what I do know is that this ain't no fucking under 18 bitch. Look at that face. Ain't no way. Forget about it. Wow, what, a, what an awesome instrument. I can't believe this didn't take off. Hey, if you're a fan of our shit, then share this with your homies. And it would behoove you to tag us when you post pics of your merch on social media, unless you want to be a douchebag about it. Blue Falcon Awards, they make official medals like the meme god with the Giga Chad, COVID service medals, gamer elite medals. You would have to have insane levels of Asperger's to wear this shit in public. <laughs> you would have to, you would have to be barely functioning as a human being to wear this shit in public. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so Wang Jiangjun in Hunan, China. Wang Zhuianjun, thank you for sending this in. Uh, this is Kirkland Signature Hair Loss Treatment, Extra Strength for Men, Topical Hair Loss Solution, Regrowth Treatment. This isn't fake. Some guy's saying this is fake. This is, are you saying the package from Zhuang, Zhuang Zhuian out of Hunan, China is fake? You're eroding the very basis of our international uh, commerce. We trust things from China in this, in this stream. These fine Chinese people are manufacturing this to help us with our hair loss. And you're spitting in their faces and it pisses me off. Okay, just cause, just cause the sticker is, is very easily flaking off does not mean it's not real. I'm not saying it's wrong, but you're, all, you're off your fucking rocker if you think I'm wearing this. Ow, shit. I stuck my hand down in the pockets of this tracksuit and there's something sharp in here. It's a bunch of paint chips. Or, no, these are pencil shavings. I don't know what the fuck these are. 
The commando store tried to cut my fingers with pencil shavings. They see it. It's like a whole pocket full of pencil shavings in here. What the fuck? I'm gonna zip up these pockets, never to be fucking unzipped again. Full ass title, as you might have deduced from the envelope. I'm a goddamn United States Marine. And from my handwriting, you can probably tell I'm unstable. I've also seen a video where a guy's just walking and he trips and hits his head on the curb and he dies. <laughs> Anyways, life is fragile, man. Watch out for that shit. That would be great if I said that right before I went to go open this package and fucking like, <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, it's like a wizard. Hold on. What I can do is I can cover his, his tip up so you can see the front. It's a wizard, guys. Just a wizard plushie. Nothing unusual there. And, oh, shit. His cock came out. This, this VOD's getting deleted. There's so much cock-related stuff on this. I don't think Twitch would be too happy. Uh, stay ahead of Hurricane Ian. Looks like it's hitting Florida. Oh, let me go outside for a second. Hold on, Slim. Let me see what's going on out here. Damn, it's just sunny as fuck. No, there's no, uh, there's no clouds out here or nothing. It feels great outside. Bomb ass seasoning from the less shitty of the Dakotas. And in keeping the tradition of junk drawer drops, a shirt from some company that gave me a pizza and tried to hire me once. Excellent. Thank you, Scott. Sonify. This is the cheapest fucking t-shirt I have ever seen in my life. It feels like dog shit. Sonic cast powered by Chromecast. The world's most wrinkled shirt. <laughs> Sometimes racism is the answer. Kinda, I used to be really into scaring people and then I scared Abby too bad a couple times and now it's like, it's kind of like an unspoken agreement. Like we don't scare people in this house. So I've stopped. Now she didn't stab me, I, I scared her so bad, she got in the car and left for a couple days. Um, and she broke down, like it was a, she like screamed and then just broke down and crying and then left and didn't come back. And that was like right when we moved in together for the first time, when I was like 24 or something. Uh, there was some, uh, it was real touch and go there for a second about whether or not she was gonna come back. <laughs> hey Sam, you fat bitch. I wanted to send you a reminder that I would love to make you something cool. Oh. Hi, Sam. I hope you're accepting mail when this gets to you. Once we saw you letting packages come in, we knew we wanted to send something. I had a hard time deciding on what to send, so I got stuff for your family. There's a lavender bath bomb for Abby. She sounds like she needs some TLC. She's, dude, she fucking sits around all day and watches like Grey's Anatomy, okay? You guys act like I I'm working her like a dog. There's also Culver's gift card from Haley and Tyler. Well, thanks Haley and Tyler. Hey, by the way, if you guys have a Culver's near you, I don't have one of those, and I know groceries are super expensive. Go ahead and steal that, see if you can buy something with it. And it says this thing was, this bath bomb wasn't even tested on animals. I wouldn't let my wife use this. It's, it wasn't even tested on lesser beings. This thing could be just corrosive. Our names are Frogman and the Rider of Rohan. We will watch your videos in a secret dark alleys and underground bunkers for fear of our religion finding out. They're Mormons. Your videos are so vile to any regular Utahn that our ears would bleed. Frogman has been a fan since 2016 and recently indoctrinated Rider of Rohan into this cult. The items given you in this package are just a few of the things we wear every day in this wasteland we call home. Utah isn't bad. Frick all those frickin' frickers that say otherwise. Holy fuck. How do they get these on, dude? Do you go face first? There is clumps of my hair that have been ripped out from this thing. Jesus, how do they put this on? I'm happy about it. Apparently people are just sending in hats. I'm gonna get lice one day from all these hats that people are sending in. This one just says carton pod. I don't know what that is. And you thought that was all my friends. No, we have boxes of, these are Pokemon cards. Boxes. Apparently some chaotic cards. Chaotic. This guy is, he dumped his nerd collection on me. 
This guy committed. Look at this. He sent me it all. He sent me these cards, the a full thing of Pokemon cards, the, the Evangelism Trapper Keeper, all of his magic cards. This giant thing of a car. It's a card storage case. This guy went out of his way and he said, guys, this is it. From here on out, I'm getting pussy and I'm committing to it. This is like when the 40 year old virgin had to clean out all of his toys out of all of his fucking hot toys out of his uh, apartment in order to go on that date. And then she shows up and his apartment's fucking completely empty. You see that little hair? Now we can frame him for murder. That's a long hair too. This guy's like a hippie or something like that. A hippie that goes crazy and kills someone all the way down in Florida. His hair found at the scene of the crime? I believe it. I think it have. I already have to delete the VOD because of this fucking coffee cup. Why not delete the VOD and keep the hair? Tuck this into my breast pocket. Keep this for later. No, this is just some bullshit about like, stories of faith producing fruit. Jesus Christ. I just went straight in the fucking garbage. Fuck you, Christianity. I'm not reading that shit. I thought this was so, uh, from Sensei Fruit. It's not, because that's Sensei Fruit's art. Uh, it's, uh, by the way, it's Forehead Fables podcast. Best podcast in the lands. Besides, like, all those really famous ones where they're, like, actual comedians and have, like, guests and stuff on there that are funny. But of the podcasts that aren't professional podcasters, that don't have professional comedians, and don't have good guests, ours is the best. Butter soda, horchata soda, ranch dressing soda. I'm not drinking these. It's not happening. I am not drinking ranch dressing soda. Not everything's gonna be a fan favorite. If you start just angling your entire existence towards what the fans will like, you end up like Mr. Beast, a soulless husk of a man that's there for nothing but views and ad revenue. That's what, that's what makes me feel good whenever a video comes out and it, it's not doing well. <laughs> I say, I'm not heartless like that, Mr. Beast. I have soul still. As I cry because my video is not doing very good. That's always, it's like various stickers of Wojak related stuff, Pepe frog memes. Didn't you see that they, these are hate symbols now? You can't be putting Pepe's on everything. See how hateful this little man is with his erection? This anti-Semitic symbol? Okay, well, I mean, it's a little bit easier to argue that it's a hate symbol when you have this with it. They launched a fucking satellite into an asteroid yesterday. I watched it. Or two days ago. I watched it live. Greetings, General Sam. I love your videos. Your Hunt Showdown vid with the city slicker is my favorite. Dude, I love it when someone likes a weird video. That's, an, that's like a video that I knew wasn't gonna do well, but I just thought it was funny. You know? Me and Aqua just doing stupid like Bayou accents in Hunt Showdown. You may not see yourself as meaningful, but you mean something to us. Right guys, doesn't he speak for all of you? Every single one of you? You've even inspired me to make some YouTube videos. Granted, they're not the best, but I'm still finding my style. Dude, I made 250 videos before one was even watchable and considered bad. You know what I mean? Like you watch a video and go like, this sucks, but you can still watch it. I made 250 videos before I even got to that point. You have no idea the, uh, the slow learning curve I'm on. That's why like uh, people like Poob or even uh, like Z Chum's a great example where like, dude, that guy's gonna be big because he hasn't even been doing it that long and he's making like banger videos. Like it, it takes me so long to catch on to something to learn how to do something. And I feel like a lot of the people that I know and associate with, they're so quick. They pick it up a lot faster than me. I've made you a couple of voodoo dolls that are meant to be you and you can do with or torture them. However, 
they're me. Why would I? You made voodoo dolls of me and you expect me to torture them? Never! I will suck their cocks! Ah! I dropped one. All right, so I'm feeling a lot. I got vertigo all of a sudden, guys. I just dropped my own voodoo doll. That guy's tight as hell. There's still a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of packages that have yet to be opened. And I don't think I've gotten to the stinky one yet. 